Hello amazing people watching on YouTube and welcome to another tutorial where today I'll be showing you how to let your Mac work for you. Now without further ado, let's just get into it. So guys, what I will be showing you today is um, how we can organize all of this mess. Uh, I'll show you a real life problem, a problem of mine and how I fixed it using bash. Now first of all, let me remove all of those directories because there, uh, those are empty directories and we'll be making them using bash. So if you don't know bash yet, I really, really, really recommended you just to go learn it right now. You can just search on YouTube. You can see some of the videos of Network Chuck. He's a really great guy and he have a bunch of videos uh, teaching Bash. Bash is a pretty much um, uh, used uh, in Linux and Mac OS, actually because Mac is a Unix based system. So you can use pretty much all of the stuff in the terminal. But if you don't know yet, you can just type Bash and you can start typing bash stuff here uh, right away so if you do echo it's gonna echo this but same goes if you use them in terminal so it doesn't really matter much maybe um, on a basic terms so without further ado let me explain the problem and how are we going to fix it so the problem is uh, something like that I have all of those photos as you can see right now it's a pretty it, it's messy uh, I would say now every three photos represent uh, a one panorama so uh, I helped this friend I was working for this friend and making all of those panoramic pictures so for example this is a single panoramic picture yeah on social media on Instagram so P21 this is stands for panorama 21 S1 stands for split so this is panorama those are panorama 21 this is split 1 split 2 split 3 for example, same goes for P22, split 1, split 2, split 3, and so on and so forth for all of those. Now, if I want to just normally solve this, because I want to organize this, yeah, it's getting pretty much messy, and I can't seem to find what I want to find so easily. If I want to just normally solve it, I'll just need to do a new folder and just call it Pano1, and now go to the P1, the three P1s, and just move this here, all right? And I need to repeat this 24 times. This is where dry come in. Don't repeat yourself. Now this is encoding, but I really try to use this as much as possible in every way. Just don't repeat yourself, guys. Even in any matter. Now, anyway, what we will be doing today is we will do a script that will create 24 directories. Uh, we will make it straight into bash and we can also just do a sh file, script file and make it a script file as well. So guys, I've realized that I also have um, not only uh, three images for each uh, for each panoramic. Actually, I have four. So instead of three here, I have another missing one and another missing one here and another missing one here. And apparently, accidentally, I have deleted them. <laughs> now, look at my trash. I have so many folders with the panel. Now, there is no way I can just find them easily. So if I go here, panel seven, so this is the missing piece. If I go here for panel 9, this is the missing piece. If I go here for um, panel 1, so it's not here, and obviously I need to search it. Now, this is wasn't planned, but this will be a perfect example on how can we use what I'm about to show you here as well. So first of all, uh, let me just launch this into terminal. So let's just do F2T, and if you don't know what, what I did, uh, this is basically Raycast, and I have a command configured for it. This is LES F2T, Finder to Terminal. If you don't know what this means, you can either uh, search Raycast or I will just I drop a video here. I'll, I, I explained about Raycast previously in one of my videos. So please feel free to see it. It may help you. So anyway, right now we are in trash. Now before doing anything in trash, uh, let me just tell you a few simple stuff or a few simple commands that we are going to use. So for this video, we are going to use find which helps find stuff in certain directories in our system. We will use MV, which is move, so you can use it to move directory or files from A place to B place or rename, but we're not gonna be using it for renaming in this video. We will also use mkdir, which is make directory to create directories. And um, I think this is all what we are going to use, but if not, then I must be forgot, and I'm sorry about it. So anyway, let's start by using the find. Now, using the find, it goes like this. You use the command, and uh, by the way, you can use the man command, short 
a shortcut for manual and then you can do whatever command you want for example man mv and it will basically gives you the manual of the mv command so mv it's move files and some description and we can use it uh, basically for anything so man uh, make there so make directories and you get the idea so you can just use the command if you want to ex explore each command uh, and dive deep in it now the find command it goes like that so first use the command and then you state where do you want to find so we are in the trash directory so we use period period means in this directory now we use hyphen name because we want to search for a name now uh, so if you want to search for a specific name you type the name here but we don't want to search for a specific name we want to use the asterisk wild card so we can use something that includes IG because I must have uh, uh, 24 photos lost in the trash that have IG in them so that's pretty much it now if we click enter and that's our 24 images right here not order but as you can see 19 20 and 23 and this is 24 so yeah so they are here in the trash so what we want to do right now or later or actually the purpose of the whole video is search for something and have this something like we have this output right now so we want to do an action for this output so our output is about 24 images now we want to do something for this output such as move or we can do many stuff we use the command and in order to do an action for the output of this command we use the exec so we use an exec now what command do we want to use we want to do the mv is the mv command on what we use the curler bracelet as an placeholder so the curly brace uh, the curly bracelet is is simply just this output so this output is placed in the placeholder so when we do mv and then this it simply tells us to use the mv command on this and because the mv command take two arguments uh a move what and b move where so we need to put another thing here so instead of using the mv let's just use the ls for example so if you use ls dash l and you need to close the command so we just do a uh, backslash semicolon now we have used this command on all of our files so it just simply showed us the permissions uh, who own it the size and whatever it is and where it is exactly so now let's go back to the command now we don't want to use the ls hyphen l we want to use the mv right and uh, by the way I used the previous command incorrectly because uh, it lacked something so as I said before we need to to the curly bracelet because we want to use this command on the output so the curly bracelet is just a replacement uh, placeholder for the output which output the output that will comes from this command which is the 24 files which is all the files that contain IG in their name now if I use the command now this is more like it because the output I had uh, before it wasn't right so those are all the images I simply instead of just showing the images like so you see this wasn't right this was searching in the entire system so this is the right output so I took the output of this command and I used the ls l body now we want to use another command which is the mv so the mv will replace this so let's do this uh, we hit up arrow in order to go to our uh, latest command and now we use the mv on this output now all what we need to state is move them where so um, let's just move it to um, back and then desktop now if I go to desktop and do the ls those are the files and I got another monitor it doesn't show them here but yeah so yeah I said this wasn't the plan I'm sorry for it but well if you look at the bright side we did what we wanted to do we got all the files out from the trash now let me just drag the files those are the files all right and just let, let's just put them here so yeah those are all the files that we got out of the trash and now let's just open terminal again so finder to terminal we are here the first thing that we want to do we want to make a 24 directories so in order to do that we need to use a for loop so it's um, more convenient to use bash easier and uh, 
we can do this in um, we can do this in two ways and it's it's the same thing exactly so if you want to use your own editor so you can just do code and let's, let's just call it script.sh and you can just script it here or here which makes no difference at all maybe in the VS Code it's easier maybe in the terminal it's cooler so let's just let's just use uh, the terminal because it got this transparent background we can see stuff uh, so we need to make a uh, four and then let's just do i equal to one because it's starting the panoramic number one and then i less or equal than 24 now I'm, I'm i'm hard coding it but we can do this dynamic as well with arguments and replace them with arguments i'll show you later but now let's just close this four and then do and if we make an echo here let's echo the i it should count from 1 to 24 let's do it done and yep that's it so all we need to do is simply instead of echoing the i we need to replace this with the make there so if we replace it with make there as you already guessed it will make 24 directories each name the number and we don't want to name it the number we want to name it so up arrow and we want to simply do make there and name it panel hyphen and voila that's it if you can see we have now our 24 directories now all we need to do guys right now just to move all of the relevant pictures i will say relevant from now on because i explained that so much and i am repeating myself now so we want to uh, move all of the relevant pictures into the relevant directory let's just use the find in order just to check that everything is great uh let's test it for 16. so yeah i have all of the v16 so anyway let's start by a for loop i equal to zero or equal to one because we have it start from pad one and then i less than or equal to 24 and then i plus plus small i yeah plus plus close the four and do and then shift enter and then here we do find the hyphen name that have b and then I dollar in it and hyphen and then asterisk because everything it's p10 hyphen p11 hyphen so we want p number hyphen and then let's close it and use the exit command so we want to make an action for this output the action will be mv on the output remember this is a placeholder this is a placeholder that hold uh, the output of the previous command which is the photos that it will find from uh, this command so we want to move them where we want to move them we want to move them to the folder that is pano hyphen and it's a dynamic so command i which is which will be pano one seven eight so on so and then we need to close the command with backslash and yep read shift enter and then done and if it all went smooth it should move all of those images in the relevant directories so let's hit enter yeah so it's not pi dollar sign it should be p dollar sign i man and now it's p dollar sign i now let's hit enter and voila we have moved all of the images in the right directories now um as we are on it let's also move those images that have ig something in it so let's go back to the command and let's use the i g i capital g capital because everything here is ig hyphen and the number ig hyphen and a number and we don't need this hyphen here because it's ig hyphen number and move it to the same directory ig hyphen and the number and if we do enter here voila we move the images now let's go check notice if we go to panel one so we have the panel one here panel three we have the everything from panel three here 
panel 18 we have everything from panel 18 here and that's how we uh, use bash scripting so if you guys felt like I helped you with something please drop a like subscribe and leave a comment if you have um, any questions or yeah have a great day